Assalamu alaikum friends today our video is about color chuck as we can see at screen i promise about color chuck video so new video is here now the question is how many types of color chuck why color chuck is so important so there are two types of color chuck dead length color chuck full back color chuck and our video is about full back color chuck there are several standards of these types but we specifically describe 5c standard our second point is why it is so important because collet clamping system is extremely suitable in mass production easy to replace high repeatability and less expensive than other clamping mechanisms 5c clamping system initially introduced by hardinge company after that many other brands copy this concept of clamping system like as you see at your screen you can imagine the importance of collet clamping system by this almost every swiss lathe uses this type of clamping system so that's why ricobike.com designed its own clamping mechanism so let's watch our each part design assembly and after that we will test out our design so here is the all parts for assembly exploded view in our design software and its 2D drawing of VM with part number. So now we are going to assemble all parts of collet closure system. So we will start assembly from these three parts. Bore shaft, finger plate, pulling finger. So here is the assembly of these three parts. And here is thread for pulling the 5C collet. Here is the 3D models of these three parts in our software. According to our VM, part number 3, 5 and 6 are assembled. Now time to assemble the finger covering. Here is a 2D triangle of finger covering. Here is the finger covering 3D model. It will be assembled by three countersink L keyboards. Now the finger covering has been assembled successfully. According to our BOM 2D drawing, part number 12 has been assembled. Now it's time to assemble pulling came, bearing case, bearing 6209 and bearing retainer ring. Here is the bearing retainer ring. So according to our BOM 2D drawing, part number 4, 9, 7 and 8 has been assembled. Now it's time to assemble the lever yoke. Its design has been modified during manufacturing. According to our BOM 2D drawing, part number 11 has been assembled. Now it's time to assemble pulling cam retainer ring. Here is the 3D model of it. And here is the 2D drawing of it. According to our BOM 2D drawing, part number 9 has been assembled. Now we are assembling the sub part of lever yoke. It is a hinge sub part of our yoke which is not mentioned in our design. Now it's time to assemble the complete assembly with our head. As you can see this design is very easy to assemble, less expensive and very versatile to use. It is a spindle head assembly BOM 2D drawing. If our viewer want to watch detailed video on CNC lace spindle head assembly, 
so let us know in the comment box our team will consider it it is a request to our viewer that 88% of our viewer is watch our videos without subscribe so please subscribe our channel it motivates us keep making videos at informative topics so here is our design working perfectly as you can see it's clean we get this excellent result of our design by kinematic analysis in our software so here is some analysis in section view and isometric view i have used term kinematic analysis means no gravitation force and properties of material include in this analysis After kinematic analysis, now we are testing our color closer physically, and it's working amazingly excellent. So that's all for today. If you learn something from this video and get some knowledge, then subscribe our channel and share this video amongst your friends. Thanks for watching. May Allah bless all of us.